Hello everyone. I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I will discuss about the baptism of Holy Spirit as according to what I promised in last in, from last video that I will be talking about the baptism of Holy Spirit. I am going to talk to you about the baptism of Holy Spirit because this is the this because um, Jesus is said that we all have to be born of the Spirit, and it is Holy Spirit is coming from heaven to us and it dwell into us. That's the meaning of Holy Spirit baptism. And um, when the Holy Spirit comes to you, you feel it that something has happened in your body. You feel that, th you get the feelings that the Holy Spirit has arrived. You experience, according, you experience, there is some experience, the signs that the Holy Spirit has arrived. You would feel the uh, there is a lot of wind that's the sign of holy spirit the first thing that is um, very common to feel that there is wind a lot of wind the wind is coming from and in you feel some you can also feel the sensation of heat you feel heat like or yes, the heat, or you can feel that wind like the snow, like the snowstorm, or you feel like in, um, you can hear the sound, mm, you can feel like uh, water is coming over you. Sometimes you feel like uh, the water is coming over you, none of the, so the wind. Sometimes you can hear the sound of, it just depends on, from heaven. It depends on um, how the Holy Spirit enable you. And um, some people can experience, they start to speak with, uh, sometimes you will have to speak with tongues. Um, and those are the gifts of Holy Spirit, speaking with tongues, speak, uh, speaking in, in, a, in another tongues, to study to prophesy, to see visions, to see visions or, or other things. But it, you can also experience the lightning. You can experience other things that um, are very unnatural. And this is what is telling me that the these things we are talking about is not the fairy tale or is just the hist the story or something like it. It is something really happens, and it has also happened. I have that experience myself. So when I talk to you about this, I know what I'm talking about is not true. And I want you to know that the gift of Holy Spirit is something real. Jesus is said that no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born again. And when he was asked how is this happens, and he say that no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born of spirit and what and word. Because what is born of spirit is spirit. When we become born again, we change from inside. Because this Holy Spirit is the one who dwell inside of us. He changes us. He te he sh for for the first thing is is the one who is telling us that what we are talking about is not just a fairy tale but the truth another thing is that the holy spirit is the one that is telling us that 
is reminding us to, to live in the righteousness. Another thing Holy Spirit does to us is protection. To protect us from the devil, the devil's works. I mean, um, so sometimes he, he can help us to give us, to warn us when somebody, when somebody is coming to harm us. Is is also reminding us when something, uh, warning us when something is is going to happen to us that he is not good. And protection, but from the disease, healing. When you we when we are we get sick, this is another thing that is the work of Holy Spirit to us. When you pray the whole, when you pray in spirit, when the Holy Spirit comes into you, you can also experience healing. You know, you experience healing when the healing power. When you tell the Holy Spirit that I am sick, I have this problem, and uh, the Holy Spirit is healing you. So. We have so many benefits for having Holy Spirit in us. The Holy Spirit's job in our body and our soul is so big, and everyone needs the Holy Spirit in their body, in the, in inside of them, because of the job. He is the one who changes us. When you you are your spirit is connected to the Holy Spirit, it means that His God is living inside of you, is giving you new mind, and you started to think different. Even if you can start to hate those things you used to love. Holy Spirit is the one is making you to love what is good in the eyes of God, and hate what is bad in the eyes of God. Holy Spirit also is helping us um, in prayers. When we pray, is acting as an advocate for us. Because, you know, advo advocate in the, in the court, what is the advocate doing? Is he trying to find out how to help you? To help to, to help your case, so Holy Spirit is the one who understands us, and He understands that uh, we need mercy and we need help from God, and He knows exactly. So He, when He, uh, Holy Spirit, help us to pray, it means that um, we pray the way w when we get pray help from hell holy spirit we pray the prayers that are real are uh, good joel chapter 2 verse 28 to 29 then afterward i would pour out my spirit on all flesh your sons and daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions even on the male and the female slaves in those days, I will pour out my spirit. It is the promise from God that he, will, he would pour out his spirit and anyone, to anyone, to all the people. So that means that even you, even me, even anybody else who want is deserving to have to be filled with the holy spirit and jesus said that we all should be born again that means that it is so much important because we should have to understand that being born again it means that to be baptized by water and by the holy spirit and it is a very important a very important step for anyone to take to in order to when so because today i'm discussing about the baptism of holy spirit so i will just continue there i will jesus had to be born again jesus had to be born again in matthew 3 14 tried to prevent jesus from coming to him to be baptized 
and he asked him i need to be baptized by you and you come to me let it and jesus replied let it be so now he replied it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness in this way because jesus it wanted to be john baptist he knew that jesus is greater than him as according to i said to the previous video he said john baptist he said that there is someone who is coming who is greater than me who he will baptize you with holy spirit and fire and that's why when he saw jesus coming to him he wondered why are you coming you also need this i thought i should come to you and jesus told him we have to fulfill all the righteousness so if jesus had to be full, we had to be born again why shouldn't we jesus was baptized by what and he was baptized by holy spirit the same day when jesus was in the in the what then the holy spirit came to jesus who baptized jesus it was the god father he baptized him with the far with the holy spirit and his spoke and he said this is my son listen to him people around there heard his voice and he they understood heard his voice the voice came from heaven with the, like the voice of thunder some people thought it was thunder but some people understood the words and they say that it was really voice that said this is my son listen to him so you can understand that why did jesus need to be born again jesus was born if in my understanding i know that jesus was born without sin jesus has never had, never had sin Jesus never sinned according to even the Bible. And according to the Bible, Jesus was born was conceived by the power of Holy Spirit. And uh, but still he had to be born again. I guess that Jesus had to teach us that this is very important. It is very important and we also have to take that step um G jesus also know that we need the holy spirit because he, the one who is strengthen us from inside without holy spirit we cannot do anything um in john 14:16 Jesus said to his disciples and I will ask the father he will give you another advocate to be with you forever this mm -hmm. holy spirit was the gift from the father and of course Jesus is the baptizer of holy spirit according to John the Baptist it is very correct because Jesus and the Father they are one it is the, it is the, they are one in that is this is the spirit that united them together it is their spirit i can see that it the spirit of god is their spirit and uh, if i can read again in john 15:26 jesus 26 jesus said when the advocate comes whom I will send to you from the Father. The Spirit of Truth who proceed from the Father, he will testify about me. The job, another job of Holy Spirit is to testify about Jesus. And uh, to testify about Jesus because he is the one who is, is a witness of who Jesus is. And um, if you read in Acts, Acts 1, chapter 1, verse 8, but you will receive power 
When the Holy Spirit comes on you, you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Jesus was telling his disciples that they will receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes on them. That is also another job of Holy Spirit is to give power. Giving power to people. Enable. Giving power. You know, because it, we need power. The power of Holy Spirit is what we all need. Jesus also told the disciples do not leave Jerusalem. Stay here. After, Je after, after when he, Jesus was raised from the dead, he told the disciples, do not leave now. Wait until the Holy Spirit come to you. Because he knew that they are still weak. They still they need power. They are still weak. They cannot testify. Even if they have seen that Jesus was raised from the dead. He could not just send them. Okay now go out and start to witness about me. Tell the all nations that you have, I, have, I have been raised from the dead. But Jesus told them. Don't leave. Stay here. Until the power of Holy Spirit come to you. Because the power of Holy Spirit is the one who will enable them to testify without fear. You know, Peter, the disciple of Jesus, before when he, Jesus was carrying the cross and he was beaten, when Peter saw Jesus was full of blood, was full of... um. He was beaten. He, be, Chipir was so terrified, and he was so and was so afraid. And his, one of these people told, said that this man is also one of them. Peter denied Jesus three times. He denied Jesus, and he said, "I really don't know this man because he was afraid because his body was empty. He was not able to. He could not." testify about Jesus but after when they received Holy Spirit it was Peter himself who went outside and he talked to the crowd and he, he, he was not afraid at all he told the crowd about him, what you see here is the Holy Spirit we are not drunk when they were filled with the Holy Spirit and he started to speak with tongues in the day of Pentecost and uh, Peter was full of Holy Ghost and he started to talk to them and he told them you crucify the man that you crucified he is alive he's, even his grave is empty all the graves are um, all the graves even if all other people like um, uh, David, King David, is still in the grave. But Jesus is alive. Is is alive, and his his grave is empty. And um, is the man you crucified him, but God has raised him from the dead. And uh, he told them to repent their sins. So that they can also receive the gift of Holy Spirit. He was talking without fear. And he was going around without fear from that day. And you see. So you can see that the Holy Spirit is what we all need. Because. He is the one who is enabling us to reject sin. Because when we are born again and uh, you are born again you need the power of holy spirit to reject sin so you cannot you can continue and with your salvation okay i just want to pray for you pray the living god i just want to pray for you thank you thank you holy spirit 
the precious Holy Spirit for strengthening us. Thank you, precious Lord, for allowing me to speak about this. Thank you, God. I know I, I, I could be, have been speaking a lot about oh, the Holy Spirit, but the one thing I have been able to speak is this little I've spoken. I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, to speak in the heart of the one who listens even more so they can understand what I'm talking about. They shall be filled with fear of the Lord. They shall be filled with love of the Lord. They shall be filled with joy. They shall be filled with with thirst to start to seek you, Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, so that if they also might inherit the kingdom of God, they shall also be receiving the power of Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Amen.